All right. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Joy Lagerie, and I have the band called SOBs. Uh, and on the screen here is Sandra Rita Don Lopez. Her, her people are waiting in the wings, hoping to come on. Um, but before we start today, I do want to um, uh, give a shout out to our sponsor, Luscious Moss Studio, and, which is owned and operated by Chad Quist in Edgewood, Washington. And okay. He does. Pri he he primarily um, records drummers. He's got an incredible setup for recording drummers and uh, guitarists, and he creates an at atmosphere of um, uh, creativity and collaboration. So if you if you need anybody like that, this is a good place to find him. He is located in Edgewood, Washington, Edgewood, Washington and you can find him on Facebook by typing in Luscious Moss Studio. All right, Sandy, we're all here. You're looking fine, girl. Thank you. It took a long time to get to look like this. Oh, <laughs> you look fabulous. So the uh, first member um, that I'm, I'll put on um, is, is Doc. He is a member of your band. Um, so if you would like to introduce him now, I'll get to say a few words about Doc. Doc, the band, band, this is Doc. <laughs> Hi, Doc. Uh, she was just introducing hey. you. And, then, and in a minute, I'm going to be asking you some hard questions. So uh, like your musical background. And the next person here is Wendy. I'm putting her on the screen. Hi, Ms. Wendy. Phillips. Hi. Director singer. All right. She's your she's your she's your additional singer for your band. Right. We're oh. missing our our other backup singer, Miss Lolo Marie, oh. and we're missing our front singer, Miss Lori Lowenstein. Oh. And, um, let's get them on at another time because I'll make sure she's here right next to me. Her phone's broken at the moment. Well, we have a listener saying, making a comment on your choker there, saying, I love her necklace, Ray. Thank you. I make them. <laughs> yes, you you make, make them. them. Oh, make them. gorgeous. And then the last person we have looks like um, his name is Rogers. So would you like to introduce Roger? Sandy? I'm sorry, what? Would you like to introduce Roger? He's oh, the last yes. uh, Mr. Roger Baldwin, one of the... Uh, West Coast finest premier drummers. All right. Hello there. Yes, she just introduced you, Roger. He said you wow. were a fine you. drummer. It took a lot of hookers and uh, alcohol to get him to join the band, but <laughs> hookers. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I love you, Rod. So the first question I want to ask is. Um, yeah, I believe Sandy wanted to thank you all for being in her band and draw attention to that. Was there something you wanted to say uh, regarding your band members, Sandy? Um, regarding, uh, I'm just, I'm blessed to be with you guys. And, and it's taken a long time to find the right combination of players um, to make uh, the connection. Um, and what we do is is just so, so much fun. Um, and, and to see the crowd, you know, dance and laugh and have a great time, that makes it all worthwhile. And we're doing our job. So you guys, you're awesome. And I'm very, very honored to play with you all. Thank you. Okay. I know you're not getting a raise this year. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. All right. Sandy, can you tell me um, when you started uh, playing and uh you know what your your instrument was and maybe your inspiration to do this wow um let's go way back to freshman high school aptos high in uh california uh, uh i was a freshman and this girl that was playing bass next to me at the in the music uh room her name was cat and i thought holy wow there's a chick that's playing bass it's unheard of in the 70s you know until yeah. I met Carol. Um, and she, um, I said, wow, can you teach me, you know, from the place? She goes, yeah, here. She goes, this is called Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix. So she showed me how to play Hey Joe. And from from that moment on, uh, I I was hooked. I, I, I was like, oh, my God, this is this is my instrument. Because I tried choir. I sucked. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> they stayed way in the back, you know, and went off to smoke pot and, you know, then come back in. And, but um, when I, and I, I thought I, right then and there, I knew everything there was about playing bass, but I was just totally out of my league. And uh, uh, Mr. Trousdale, my music teacher, uh, said there was an opening for a bass player in the jazz band. And I, hey, I know how to play. I only knew how to play Hey Joe. That was it. So <laughs> I lied through my teeth to get in that. So he, he, threw, he, he, he threw some songs at us. And we had a we had a show that um, all the all the high school bands would get together and play. It was at the Watsonville Theater in California, the Fox Theater, and uh, we had like uh, I don't know four months to prepare. So I didn't even have a bass. I had nothing. So he gave me his Sears model bass. It was like uh, blue metallic, and uh, it was I didn't even know if it was in tune or not. You know, <laughs> yeah. And all I could, all I had was the records. So he threw Chicago at us. We were going to play oh uh, Chicago. Gosh. Yeah, twenty five sixty four. Does anybody know what time it is? Um, and on and on. The, those were the songs we were going to play. So I had to take the bass home without a case, uh, without an amp or anything like that, and uh, learn how to play those songs um, in four months. Oh my and, gosh. Oh yeah. In the meantime, you get teased on the bus. Oh God, it was, and, and I got nothing but sh my but crap from my father. Um, I'll, I'll never be a, a musician. You know, you're wasting your time. Blah blah blah. So, but that didn't stop me. So, I practiced off the album. You know, kept lifting and lifting the the, the stylus and put it back on. Lift it up. Put it back. You know, that's all I had. Wow. So. Uh, I, I got, I got, I faked my way through it. Put it that way. I faked my way through it. Oh, good for you. We do have two comments from our listeners here. Um, they haven't identified themselves, but um, it says, uh, I just found out on Ancestry.com that Roger is my father. He's a, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a drummer, so I guess there'll be uh, no back child support. <laughs> I told you about that gig, man. We shouldn't have done that. Man, you we can't afford your child support. You should have shut up about that. <laughs> man, we can't afford that. And then Donald, <laughs> Donald Malador says, uh, when is the nearest date I could come video your band in this configuration? When you don't charge two hundred bucks, <laughs> what was that? When it, when it's free, when you don't charge two hundred bucks. <laughs> oh, did you hear that, Donald? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Doc, how did you get started? And um, what are you the the band lead? Is that correct? You do the lead licks, Roger. Oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I got, I mean, Doc. I'm sorry, Doc. <laughs> sorry, what Roger. do you do, Lee Link, Roger? <laughs> I <laughs> thought you, what happened? You I have thought you were talking to Doc. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Doc. All, all of your mics are a little quiet, so I'm just trying to hear. Oh. So, okay. uh, what's the question away. again? The, the question was to Doc. To oh. Doc. To Doc. And, and like, he apparently is the lead for your band. Is that correct, Sandy? He's he's a rhythm player, vocalist. He's got it all. He's got the uh, full package, huh? Yeah, <laughs> our our lead player, um, he's not on, not able to get online right now. Oh, um, okay. His name's, um, how many uh, people are in your band? It all depends on how, on you know how. <laughs> I've had up to twelve people in the band. <laughs> You know, it all depends on what, what gigs. We're going to have like six people on August 12th on the national stage. Wow. Um, that's going to be, we, we do a lot of a lot of songs, a lot of genre. Go ahead, Doc. Um, yeah, Doc. Yeah, you tell. How did you get started, Doc? And what, and what was your uh, first instrument? Mm -hmm. Is he able to hear us? Doc, can you hear us? We can't hear you. He can't hear us. Yeah. Okay, now I can talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, he, does he understand that we can't hear him? Doc, we can't hear you. 
No sound. Take your mute off. Okay, why? Well, See the mouse? Mouse. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to go to Roger after all. <laughs> Roger, how did you get started? Oh, my goodness. I uh, Just one day, I just said, I want to play drums. And from that moment on, I wanted to play drums. How old were you? I mean, not how old, but... You know what age group were you in at the time? What what? Were you a were you a young person or were you? Oh yeah, I was thirteen at the time. Um, I'd say uh, when I was in fourth grade, I wanted to play horn, and my dad just loved that idea. He bought a <laughs> horn for me, and I played for six months, and then I gave it up. So what about? <laughs> three, four years later, I want to play drums. And my dad's going, well, I don't know about this. But uh, after six months, uh, my mom and dad bought me a, a snare drum, just the snare drum. Just snare. Six months later, they said, OK, we'll get him a cymbal, you know. And six months after that, my dad took me down and got me a whole drum set. That just blew me away. That was just the, the coolest thing and what, been what playing music, ever since. What kind of music were you playing? Oh, uh, <laughs> just rock and roll, you know, Creedence Clearwater, Rolling yeah. Stones, uh, stuff like that. You know, um, I I had a hard time learning the beat to uh, Inagata De Vida. <laughs> yeah uh, it, it's that offbeat stuff that just threw me off but it took me several months to figure it out yeah well, well, it's like it, it took me i had a for some reason i had an uncanny ability to be able to hear a note and play the note and understand where these notes go without being able to read that's how i got the the songs down for um in um for uh, the, I'm sorry, the, uh, the concert we did as a freshman um, in four months. I faked it pretty good, but I it's I can hear a note and play it and and know exactly where the song's going to go. It's it's ever since before you can even uh, yeah. read That's music or or even meet Carol Kay. She's the one that really. Um, I and I I have to shout out. I love you, Carol. Thank you. <laughs> that first meeting, what changed my whole life on becoming a professional musician. Uh, but because up to then, I was just a tambourine girl. <laughs> That's so, me. Then, <laughs> so we've got three comments here. One says, Lee the Licks is how Roger became my papa. They must know me. <laughs> and so Chicago is a great, great way to get started for sure. One of my favorite bands on the planet, but I'm not sure who said that. Um, and this one says, hi, Sandy. Who's that old guy with the gray beard? Craig is the guy who wrote this. <laughs> that was your business partner. <laughs> uh oh, was. I heard was. <laughs> Are you well, able? Are you able, um, Doc, to hear us? Are you able to talk now? No, no, no sound. I bet you're muted. No, please. Doc. There he is. Who said, <laughs> Doc? Oh, okay. Well, as he works on that, we'll move right along. Um, one of the things I did want to ask Sandy and oh, Wendy, I skipped you. <laughs> I get skipped all the time. She's background singer anyway, so. I am just a background singer. <laughs> just a background singer. There is no such thing. I know. I know. That's what I keep hearing. <laughs> um, if you hear a song without a backup singer in the important parts, it wouldn't, be, a, it wouldn't be the same song. Exactly. Yeah. You know so, what? And everybody sings those parts too, believe it or not. Yes. In fact, they're no longer calling them backup singers anymore. Um, they're calling uh, oh. people who assist in the music additional singers. So you've been upgraded. Oh. <laughs> so I, somebody, I like to be upgraded. Somebody's. I um, don't know whose that is. It's uh, Lori Lowenstein. Oh. What? It's Lori, our, our, our singer. Oh. She's going to. Okay. She, she looks like she can get a hold of us this way. Hey, girl. Hi. Hey. Okay, I'm going to turn you around here. Okay. Oh, that's Sandy's famous. 
Yeah. Yeah, right. right. That's my bank account if I am. <laughs> Doc, are you able to talk yet? There you go. Okay, That's it. Cool. All right. Can you see Lori? Yeah. Wait, oh, okay. There's Lori. There's Lori on the floor. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Okay. <laughs> So, what's this? <laughs> okay. Doc so, left. Yeah. So, Wendy, so Wendy tell us about you. Room, probably. Wendy, what? Tell us about you. Uh, well, okay. I started singing at a very young age. I got in trouble for singing. Because my parents, you know, they get they start telling me, oh, "Girl, you're in hot water," and of course, I'd be singing "Hot Blooded Chicken" and see, you know, <laughs> and uh, I I got slapped a lot for singing, so uh, <clears throat> because I was getting in trouble. Uh, just an example of why and how long I've been singing. Uh, my uncle Woody and my uncle Bill had a broke a record back in the '60s <clears throat> and stuff. So I've been singing a long time. My brother and brothers can, you know, play. I can't play nothing, but the tambourine. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, your instrument is your voice. That's your instrument. Oh, oh yeah. It, it's it's. I've been I've been singing for a long time. I, I enjoy it and I have fun. That's why I'm I'm All here right. in band. And the the lady I I missed her name. Uh, the this lady. Lori. And what Lori. does she do? What does she do? She's, She's your lead singer. Lead singer. I don't know. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, but we can't see you. Where are you? <laughs> we what can hear that? you, Doc. We can't see you. So, when did you start uh, your music, Lori? We won't be able uh, performing live when I was nineteen. Wow. And I've been doing yeah. it for longer than half. Huh? Uh, 60 now i've been doing it since i was uh 19 and i've been in a lot of different bands in the northwest here throughout the years and uh, just doing a lot of music you know for a right. long time all right all right so what what was your inspiration what was the thing that uh, got you into music we know that that sandy said that her um a uh, bass player helped teach her in, while she was in school. And that's where she has started. She, was, she had to play, was it Chicago? What were, what oh, yeah, we, we we were thrown a Chicago um, 2564. Uh, does anybody know what time it is, you know, for the uh, Aptos Jazz Band? And that's when I lied through my teeth. <laughs> she said that was her, not inspiration necessarily, but I guess in the in the end it did become. So, who were you listening to and singing to, Lori, when you were when you were where? What? Oh, definitely the Beatles and ah. Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Janis Joplin. Uh, yeah, yeah. Motown. Rolling Stone. <laughs> you know, Motown. Yeah, uh, I have a lot of blues. Mm -hmm. so, right. Currently, mm -hmm. recording with Sandy Hansen, we've been doing our originals, and we've been working on those since the 90s. And then we got back again. <coughs> and, uh, so I have that project as well. I'll, we'll be forming an original uh, band project with him as well. Wow. Uh, okay. I will be I think I got two screens for Doc. <laughs> He's yeah. testing things out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lori. I missed the last part of it. Uh, last thing you were saying. Whoops. He bounced. Well, let me put it back in here. Hold on. What, you, what were you we saying, Lori? What was, the last, uh, yeah. <laughs> what was the last thing you were saying? I'm really looking forward to this project with Sandra. All right. And you said you were all, all you guys are recording some new music? Yes, we are. Uh, Is that the we got we got a couple yeah. of, we got uh, another band we're starting called uh, the Atomic Blonde. What is <laughs> the Atomic Blonde? Is that what you said? Is, it, is that cool. Yeah, Atomic Blonde. Yeah, Atomic Blonde. She's going blonde. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you, Doc. Hey. There you go. 
Yay. All right, Doc. <laughs> we just saw you flip upside down there. You that was were you jumping for joy? <laughs> yeah, no, the phone was. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Drop the phone like I did. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lori. Um, thank you for telling us your background. And what, when was the very first band that you were in? first hang band that I was in was a band called Reason. And we were here in Kitsap and we played at this club called the Beachcomber. We were the house band. And I was, uh, as you know, 19 and I'd go out during the breaks and go outside and then come back in when it was time to get up on stage again. <laughs> All right. I heard a lot of that going on in this area when the young, young musicians were uh, not allowed to go into the clubs except to do the music. So moving right along, I guess we have fine Doc up and ready. So can you tell <laughs> me how you got into music, what you do in Sandy's band, and uh, what your inspiration was that got you into this uh, rock genre? So I started on B-flat clarinet when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, Ah. And my, my teacher was Ron Phillips, the first B flat clarinet for the Seattle Symphony. So wow. I was I was pretty lucky. And then I went to the Shamrocks Drum and Bugle Corps and I played cymbals and tenor drum and uh, did that. We were first in the state and fifth in the nation. And then all of a sudden I discovered uh, the Beatles and I was done. That was it. I was <laughs> done. And so, so I started way back in, in like grade school, junior high school, playing in Fox, Rigel, Hammer, uh, mm -hmm. a bunch of the local bands here. And then I went to California and, and toured with a band called Friends out of San Jose. And I came home for a minute and then I went back and I went out with a, a band called The Extremes. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, just hung in California for years and, and just played and ran around the country and did crazy stuff. And then I was back up here and I wanted to start a little quiet, just like weekend band called Dillinger and Company. And it went nuts. We were playing five to seven nights a week, oh 59 gosh. to 61 beats, beat weeks a year. And oh my, it was crazy. And well, then yeah. I went through a band called The Motors. And that's where I ran into Sandra. Ah. And the motors ran its course, and Sandra found out I wasn't doing anything and asked me to come work with her, and here we are. All right. Hey, Doc, here's my clarinet from sixth grade. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> yeah, like that's what I started out on was clarinet. And we, we have three commenters uh, here. One says, ooh, I was in the Marauders Drum and Bugle Corps. Uh, cool start, Doc. And one says, <laughs> center stage audio here. Hey, Sandra Rita Don Lopez. And then. That's because this, there's a thousand Sandra Lopez's out there. Oh, okay. And this one says, uh, Joy, Sandy, and I see Roger and the rest of the band. Good to see you all from Andrea Hollister. Oh, we love Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Uh, hello. hello. <laughs> Hi, Andrea. And I think hi, uh, someone says, hi, Ray, and with a smiley face. So there we are. Uh, they have, So far, I have not asked you any questions, but they seem to like to tease you guys. <laughs> so and I, I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say August 20th, we're opening for Way Jennings and, uh, oh, yeah. uh, and the Moonshine Bandits. And that'll be the second time I've been out and open for the Moonshine Bandits. It's going to be a lot of fun. Those guys are where awesome. Where are they playing at? Uh, it's at where Maytown? is that, Sandra? It's down by Olympia. I forget it's, the name it's of It's at that. Maytown. Uh, Beer Man's got uh, tickets out. Go to Craig Beer Man's page, and he'll have the link for Brown Paper, uh, brown paper tech, uh, Tickets. Uh, okay. uh, first night's going to be... Uh, with the uh, Hell's Bells, the Moonshine Bandits are after them, um, and uh, Sub Vinyls opening up, and then Saturday we're opening up for Wyatt Jennings and for the Moonshine Bandits, and Lori, and Lori, and Trish Doyle will be my my two country female vocalists. 
that's going to just knock your socks off. Uh, we've, we've got a killer fiddle player named Rodney Lambert, who's going to join us. Um, on keyboards, we have Roger Anderson. We have Roger Baldwin on drums. We have Doc on guitar. Paul, uh, uh, um, I'm sorry. What was, what was his al alter ego name? <laughs> <laughs> Theo B. <laughs> Theo B. All right, we got Theo B on guitar too. Uh, and uh, we have Lola Marie and Wendy on, on backups. It's oh, going to be excellent. We do, That's see, we fabulous. do different genre. That's why I love these bands. Um, yeah. I've always wanted to be a band that had different players for right. different genres. Um, right. And it's just, it's so much fun to, you know, kind of switch around players. Um, and it, it brings, I like to bring players up, you know, that are just becoming because people did it for me. Right. Um, did it right. for Doc and for Roger when we first started, you know, so it's kind of like giving back, you know, yeah, but you exactly. got to earn a spot. Okay. You got to earn it. We have a new question here. It says for the band, the whole band. It says, uh, "What do you guys do together when you're not playing?" <laughs> Play with each other. Oh, what? <laughs> what was that? Well, that they get hurt. They usually come to me. Wendy, what do I need? <laughs> I what was that? What were you holding up there, uh, Sandra? Uh, oh, it's my it's medicinal purposes. Oh. It's, yeah. a <laughs> <laughs> it's legal. Where's, where's the straw? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah, I'm we joke with each other, it. that's for sure. We have a good time. No, that's why I love this so man. Everybody tea. jokes with everybody. I hear you, Wendy. <laughs> anyway, the guy that thinks you're his father, Roger, is saying, that's my dad, Roger. Always <laughs> been a funny guy. <laughs> I I'm not paying your child like support, Roger. Roger. <laughs> What's his name? I don't know because he hasn't published it. So. Roger yeah. Jr. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a junior or a third or a second. <laughs> a son <laughs> twice removed. <laughs> hey, I want to shout out to some other um, oh. famous players too, like Ronnie Lee, Lynn Sorensen. Um, and beer man, Craig beer man, we love you. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. Um, it, it's just been an honor to play with all these years with you at your bar and at the old uh, Uncle Sam's and coming up through the ranks. And it's, it's just, it blows my mind that we got picked to yeah. uh, represent and to play and open up for these guys. Um, Jeff Call for giving my start at the Stone Gate. Um, oh my god, Marcelo down at uh, Royal Bear way back, but uh, Susan Kendall, yeah. you know, um, uh, god, you know, it's just it goes on and on. Trish Doyle is, is I wish Trish was here, she's uh on a hiatus right now. Okay. Um, Tom Scott, my first drummer, he played with Johnny Winters way back when I had the Southern Oregon Blues Band. Want to shout out to them. My, my kids, Kyle, Sierra, I love you. Thank you for putting up with all my shit from the, <laughs> a long time ago and leaving you at home alone <laughs> when I went on the road. But they, they didn't burn the house down or nothing. They were very well, very well uh, behaved. Um, my grandfather, I want to, my grandfather first started playing music when I was a baby and he played with Segovia. He's from uh, Seville, Spain. Um, Edward Crispillo. Um, and that's, I guess that's where I first, my first love of Latin music first started. I first started Latin and then blues, and then I found Jimi Hendrix and those, and then those guys. And, you know, it's, I, I, I don't know about everybody else's background, but um, it starts way back when you're young. So oh. start your kids out young. Teaching that's them right. Music, you know, yeah, proves are grades too. Well, you know, we know we know who's making these comments now. Uh, Donald Malador said it's Raymond Hayden saying that. And <laughs> Raymond says, "Dang, you blew my cover. You blew my anonymity." <laughs> we, oh, Roger is the father. <laughs> I'm not paying child support. His commenters. Oh said, no. 
These artists are a hoot. Love it. Uh, whoever's Whoa. watching said that to you guys. So, and then uh, somebody says, "Oh, <laughs> Raymond, you're up on our screen, and it says, hi, Andrea Ray. Uh, you just found your place onto our screen here. <laughs> <laughs> well, how'd you get in there, you stinker? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was Andrea, wondering who that was. I'm all, who's that? It says, hi, yeah, Andrea Ray. He's greeting Andrea Hollister, but he somehow he made it on our screen. Not sure how he did that, but I got to find out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, the next um, the next question is, uh, you know, it's still kind of foggy to me about um, how you all got started. But there's one common thread, and that is that you guys all seem to like rock music. You have a great time. And you enjoy each other's company. I don't know what else you could possibly ask for in a band. You can't. No, so, you can't. My, so my it's question it's... is this. What did you guys do? And how long, have, well, first of all, how long have you been together? And what did you do during COVID uh, since you weren't able to pl play and we were on lockdown? It's some part of that. Uh, Roger, you first or Doc? Practice, practice, practice. Doc, Doc just left me. <laughs> Doc just jumped off my screen. Yeah, we practiced oh, God, alone I and then we got him. together when we could and practiced <laughs> with each other. Okay. We, we, still, yeah. we still went rehearsal and we still we practice at home. So um, we had we yeah. had a few gigs in, in in the COVID time, but not many. Yeah, we called it. Yeah, we called it the COVID tour. Yeah, <laughs> the COVID yeah. tour. Right. It was small, but we we went. Yeah, it was always on the Kitsap Peninsula. Right, and outside. <laughs> and outside. Were you wearing masks? <laughs> no. 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 Did anybody Roger, get COVID? Roger no. doesn't bite. <laughs> Not All me. Right. Not All everybody right. I know. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> no, we have gigs. Uh, we have gigs coming up here pretty soon um, in April. Um. Uh, April, March, May, June, July, and August. So September, October, November. Well, I, that's our off time. Yes. Oh yeah, we do have one gig in November. That's right. Yeah, we yeah yeah we do. Uh, you <laughs> have to remind me on that one. I think I posted your schedule um, on on matured musicians. Uh, were those dates in that schedule that I posted? Does anybody know? Uh, yes, they are. Um, and they, you can go up to our website at www.sobband.com. Doc, yes. Doc here takes care of our website and he, yes, he has all of our dates and um, he does a great job on our website. Okay. Did you do, do you, um, you, you said you're forming a band called the, oh gosh, I forgot Atomic it. Something Blonde. Band. What was it? Atomic Blonde. At Atomic Blonde. Um, and you're going to do some original music. Uh, what genre is that music going to be in? Uh, that's a Lori question. Lori? That's a question I can't hear very well. Uh, we were asking what kind of music is going to be on the Atomic Blonde agenda. Oh, we are looking forward to putting together something very dynamic and new we're just really excited about this new project it's it's in the works right now and we can't wait to get it going so yeah roger you're part of that by the way yeah you're supposed to wear a blonde wig <laughs> roger. Oh, hey, thanks for telling me that. <laughs> long blonde wig <laughs> like 1980s <laughs> okay I don't think Doc would look good in a blonde wig. <laughs> no, Roger, I'm not sure. No comment. <laughs> yeah. Love these guys. All right. Um, so, so let's see. Um, let's see. Um, so what was as a band when? How long have you been the um? What is it? Five of you? One, two, three, four, five, uh, five. Actually, there's uh, six, seven. We have two more in the background. One's our keyboard player, Roger Anderson. Um, he's uh, he's down in um, Bremerton. And um, Lola Marie is our the backup singer. 
when we get, it's like, I have a whole Rolodex full of players, you know, what <laughs> I need, I do, I swear to God. Uh, yeah. When I need it, when I need a, I have yeah. a certain gig comes up, you know, it's certain players fit the, fit the genre, yeah. you know, call them up. Hey, I got a gig. Yeah. So if you have gigs, players will come. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Especially so, if they're paid gigs. <laughs> how long have you, the people on the screen, how long have you been together, the five yeah. of you? I've been with Sandy for almost a year. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Roger's been in with me for that pretty much almost that long of time. And Doc, Lori, um, I'm just newly singing with her, um, uh, coming in and stuff. So that's how long I've been in San Sandy's band. And Sandy, how long have you had these people in your band? Um, uh, or are do, do you add players to this? Well, we have, they've been with me for uh, Roger's been with me a couple of years. Uh, we go back uh, about a year, Doc, and Lori. I just just brought her in this year. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. The longest the longest drummer I ever had was Tom Scott in, in uh, down in Oregon. He was with me ten years. Uh, that took a lot of hookers and alcohol to keep them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Uh, if the DEA or any uh, oh, yeah. person people are listening, you cannot use any of this. Right. Uh, it is not going to be held against them in a court of law. <laughs> yeah. It's personal information. Very personal. <laughs> hey, so, a shout out to uh, Shirley Diggers and Premonition and the incredible Edible Bands, all those guys. And they're, they rock. They, you got to you got to interview those next joy. Uh, they're really, really all great players. Yeah, they rock. Can you can you email me a reminder? Yeah, you bet. All right, um, all right Sandy. And, uh, Trish Nelson. I'm mean, gonna big shout out to her. She's a killer keyboard player. We're gonna we're gonna steal her away one of these days. <laughs> get her to play with us. Well, but, I, if I ever have a band together, I'm gonna stay away from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you located? Where, what area are you guys in? Um, uh, I'm in uh, Yelm area. Um, huh? uh, Doc's in. Where in the hell are you, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doc. Okay. Earth the Doc. Beat Doc's up. walking he's, he's around. Frozen. He's frozen in time. He's frozen. He, there he, he is. He, he's in Iceland. Yeah, he cool. keeps coming and going. I, I can't keep track of him. There he is. Where are you from, Doc? What area? Oh, no. We lost your sound. Anybody? Write a piece of paper, Doc. Yeah, put it up. We can't I'm hear you. Unfortunately for paper, Sandy, Doc. I'm her roommate. Can't hear. Uh, Roger. So Roger, where are you from? What area? Who, me? Yeah, Papa. Right yeah, now Papa. what? <laughs> I'm from Seattle. Okay. Cool. Yeah, when, Wendy, where are you? I'm, uh, I'm, unfortunately for Sandy, I'm her roommate at the moment. <laughs> ah, oh, my gosh. That's handy. You guys get to practice. Oh, yeah, she gets to listen to me in this. Ah. <laughs> yeah, she's real good with that thing. You got to watch out, man. She got in the fucking shower. I'm not kidding. Takes it to the shower. She, she sounds really good in the shower with her tambourine. <laughs> it That's where I practice the most. I want that tambourine. It probably doesn't rust. <laughs> it's, it doesn't. I, I like it. I like this sound better than the other one. The other one's too tink tink for me. This one's more subtle, so I like it better. <laughs> I was told. I was told it drives Lynn crazy. So I make sure I have this. I have this uh, tambourine on my t on my toes. You put it on your foot so when you're oh, happy. That's it rings. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> She's lucky I'll get those finger ones. Ding. Yeah. 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 Ding. Yes, that's, that's <laughs> absolutely. Well, I, I um not to change the subject or anything. I owe uh, a real big shout out to a very special lady in Portland named Lucy Hammond. Uh, when I first came up to Washington, uh, I was in a real dark place. Um, I was um 
after 20 years of the with the Southern Oregon Blues Band, uh, it came to a, a brit, abrupt halt. Um, so, uh, a very tragic event happened, and I lost my business, my home. Um, I almost lost my daughter. Uh, it was it was horrible. I lost my music. Um, I lost the will to play. Uh, I got my pickup with my dogs and cats and came up towards Portland and and I, somehow on the internet I, I hooked up with Lucy Hammond and cried cried the blues to her uh, about what happened and she was so so supportive um, for me to want to play again. And the only reason why I'm here in Washington, besides my son saying, Mom, go to Seattle, it's Music Central there, yes. was Lucy saying, I have to play because it was in my soul. It was, I was willing to do this. So, Lucy, thank you, honey, for putting me in this spot where I'm at now because you were right. It's in my blood. Um, I was born to do this. Uh, she, she, talked me into actually picking up the bass again because there was a real dark time where you know music you, you thought music was going to do all these wonderful things for you and then have it it's not the music that slaps you in the face it's the people who you trusted and and because what the one of the guys was in the band that i was in happened to be my husband ex-husband uh he was johnny cash's first cousin so musically i thought i was on my way and it just it didn't turn out that way so uh thank you lucy if i hope you're i hope you're watching because i owe you a deep debt of gratitude uh for putting me back and carol k for talking me back into playing what i love because look at these bunch of guys i'm with now <laughs> Well, this does go on uh, Facebook, by Facebook. So anybody who's on there, and I have almost 2,000 people, I think. And then from there, in about a week or two, depending upon whether people are still viewing on Matured Musicians and Facebook, I put it on YouTube. So she can, you know, if you have contact with her, uh, she can view it on there. If she doesn't get to see it now, she will be able to see it in the future, in about two it, weeks it takes on YouTube. It takes a lot of people um, behind a really good musician to put him there. Um, and there's just so many people to thank. And every one of you who who's ever been in contact with me, who, and if I fired you, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I still love you. Um, you know, I, I, I owe a deep debt of gratitude to everybody in my life. And all you all, all you guys, Roger, Doc, Wendy, Lori, Roger, um, Lolo, all you guys, man, you just you make you make my world. Thank you for. We love you, Sandra. <laughs> we yes, you. we do love you, Sandra. I, I I'm gonna have to say uh, uh, goodbye, guys. I have to get to work. Thank you for right, letting me be part no of problem, this Andy. video. And out, I love baby. you. See you after work, Sandy. Stay yeah, up. I'll be home. All right, I'll have coffee. On. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. This is such a fun band. We have such a fun time. I mean, I've been, I've been dressed up looking like Cheech Marin, you know, in a tutu. And <laughs> <laughs> so, really embarrassed these guys. One of the things I asked that didn't get quite answered. Um, <laughs> okay, Lori. Was, uh, what were, what was there, did you ever have a special moment um, as a band, uh, all of you together, where you said, wow, you know, that was life changing? How about when Roger and me you played with uh, Redbone? With who? Redbone, the guys from Redbone out of Beer Man's gig last year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was special. That was that was fun. That was fantastic. Uh, uh, yeah, huh? That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Is that uh, Lori I hear in the background talking? Yeah, Lori said the same thing, man. So what <laughs> what was going on? It was just just the fact that you were playing with them, and it was a. Uh, uh, a really great gig. Uh, yeah, it was one of those beer man um, asked me to put together about, you know, 12 musicians, 12 bands, you know, in, in a sh short amount of time. And we did. And we had a great turnout. Uh, but um, I, I took what money he was going to give me and asked if he, if he could bring the last guys, last surviving, surviving members from Redbone. 
so uh -huh. we could do it, you know. So I wanted to play Come and Get Your Love so bad with these guys, and I got my wish. Oh, so right. we were out there, and yep, yep, Roger was with me. And um, was you, were you there, Doc? No, you weren't there yet. Doc, are you hearing us? No, Doc wasn't there yet. That was, um, I see, we still can't hear him. We still yeah. can't. Yeah. So that was that was mine and Rogers, you know, first really cool moment, I guess. We've had we've had many, 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 you know, great, great shows, but um uh, that was the one that stands out for me. Yeah. Lounge vultures. All the lounge vultures. <laughs> Remember oh, that? Oh, oh. That's where we met. That's, That's where, where we, we met. met. <laughs> so I'm taking that. Uh, Sandy, that whenever you meet somebody, you grab them for your band if you like their music. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's the Rolodex. <laughs> Here's a Rolodex. Oh my gosh. I used to have one like that. I get it. <laughs> but um, what is your direction? I mean, obviously, you're, um, the Atomic Blonde is the new band coming out. Uh, what is your goals or your aspirations for the coming years um, as you go forward? What are you seeing yourselves uh, doing or being, or what direction do you want to head in? I'll let Roger go. <laughs> you first. Me? Yeah, you first. You're on the spot. I've always wanted to wear a blonde wig, so I just <laughs> had to be part of it. Are you going to sing? Are you singing, drummer? <laughs> I you could say about two notes. words in German. Uh, you, you know, yeah. Nick for Stan. There you go. <laughs> you don't understand. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know German, ja. huh? <laughs> Kannst du Deutsch? Ich, yeah, ich liebe in Deutschland. I'm Bishop. All the time. I'm Bishop. That's great. I, I lived in Germany for three months. so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I know a couple of words. <laughs> like all Peter's saying, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Or uh, anal vice. Hey, I know that word. Flower <laughs> <laughs> or color. <laughs> Look at Sandra breaking up. <laughs> well, when you get to the translation in oh. German, and the funniest translation I heard when I was there was Batman. And they call it Fliegelmusmann. Which means <laughs> flying moose man. That's Batman. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's wild. I ain't never heard that. I've never heard that either, man. That's great. And, and the other surprise I got when I was there was um, I was on a military base and I was at, working out in the gym. And when it came time to go into the sauna, the girls would enter from their locker room and the boys would enter, enter from theirs. And I walked in there with the towel wrapped around me, not knowing there were going to be boys in there. And the soldiers came in butt naked. <laughs> and I was like, ah! And he said, well, this is Germany. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Now so, I, I I got to fly on a C five third or C five Galaxy. My my dad was military too. Yeah. So, yeah, we got to fly to Philippines, Japan. Stayed Wait, there. Air for Force, while. Army, or Navy? Yeah, or? it was Army. Army. Yeah. yeah. Got, so we sh we we share a little bit there. Um, so uh, what what? What goals do you have, Joy, for this for this platform you're you're giving us? Wow. I mean, this is so awesome. You're giving us this platform to come out and and tell tell the truth about certain yeah. things. <laughs> well, I, I was I had a band for 15 years from 2000 to 2015 called Gold Rush Fever, and uh, I had a Rolodex too. <laughs> well, I see. And see? then I got uh, yeah. Then I got cancer, so uh, I couldn't spend four hours on stage, and I quit. I, I got a couple of cancers, and so it took me a little bit to recover, and I went back um, to Arizona to uh, one of the guys that played drums and, and his wife who played my keyboard for my band, and they got me started again. So I came home, I joined the Redmond Band, and then I joined the uh, Buffalo Volunteer Senior Band, 
And that got me moving. And next thing I know, I was going to jams and here I am <laughs> writing songs. Never thought I could, but I got involved with Jessica Lynn Whitty and Raymond Hayden. And the next thing I know, I was writing and producing songs with Chad Quist wow. in the studio. <laughs> See, that's how it starts, you know, it, me meeting up with Lori. I, I can't, I know thousands of songs, you know, I, I do. <laughs> I, I have books and books and books and books and books of songs um, and set lists. And I can't write a song to save my life until I met Lori. Ah, well, we're going. Right. He's going to show me how how it's done, uh, yeah. because it's as it's it's really weird. I'm just one of those type of musicians uh, where I can play anybody else's songs, but to try to create one of my own, I I want it to be like everything I've ever heard from you yeah. know yeah. R&B to the blues to reggae. I right. want it all to be in one song. It's just overwhelming. Right. It's, so the, the plan for, for um, I get you, I hear you. The plan for matured musicians is a platform where people uh, in this area get to know each other because I, I, I jam with a lot of bands and um, I probably now I've jammed with over 30 bands. And so that's so cool. That, yeah. And I got to know so many musicians as a result of it. Yeah. And it's awful hard to, to and um, until you hear their stories. I mean, I've gotten up on stage with like Lynn Sorensen, for example. Had I known yeah. who he was, I'd have never got up there in not a hundred years. Oh but, no. Yeah. Same, same here. I would have uh, Goldie McJohn. I got to play with my one of my heroes from Steppenwolf, Goldie McJohn, uh before he passed away. Um uh, and I got to open up for John Kay at Steppenwolf when I had the Southern Oregon Blues band. It's right. just weird how paths cross, you know. Yeah. Uh, and you get to meet these incredible people. I got right. to meet Lolly from Redbone before he passed away. Um, he was at uh, the party up there at uh, um, Goldie McJohn's. And there's just so many people up here. I'm really, really happy to have come to Seattle um, and lived up here. It's been, like, what, 12 years now I've been here. And my idea is to get at the audience, you know, people that are listening and have joined matured musicians and who see this on Facebook excited and about the stories you have to tell and the kind of music you're producing yeah. and, and come see your band, put the gigs on my site. Um, Definitely. Let people know who you are inside and why you have this band. And I, th I just, it's a good platform to do it. And I got started with it during COVID and here I am. Yeah, and let me let me shout to, you know, to all the women out there who wants to you know start in the music business. This is a really tough business yeah. to, to get into, especially for women. But mm -hmm. don't ever give up on your dream if that's what you want to do. <laughs> you do it, you know. Just do it. Don't ever give up, no matter what anybody says. How bad you suck, you know. You just go yeah. practice harder. How bad you suck. <laughs> Let's hope <laughs> not. <laughs> it's the truth, right, Lori? You know? Yeah. Hey, right. Doc, you're making me dizzy. Yeah, keep trying. <laughs> you know, always keep trying because uh, believe me, believe me, it's I got put down so many times, you know, even by my exes in front of people on stage, you know, to make themselves look better. They'll do that to you. But you never give up. You, you just blow them off because, you know, yeah. you know who you are and what you love. And if you make the people happy, you're doing a great That's job. Right. You know, if, the, yeah, if everybody lie. leaves, if everybody leaves while you're singing, there's a problem. <laughs> well, I've had, I've had a lot. You keep going. I've, I've had a lot of people say things, and I I learned to get a you know get a hold you got, of it. You got you got to get a thicker skin in this business. Yeah, but it hurts. I mean, it, you you feel sure. the sting, and then you can blow it off. You know. Yeah, and I, and believe me, it's the the people that do put you down. Are the people who wish they could be on your place, huh, Roger? <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. So we just got Lori and Roger left here. <laughs> I know. I don't know yeah. what happened to Doc. He was spinning around. Oops, I see him. Hold on, let's see if I can get him back on here. Let's so see. Lori, you told me you were dropped off by aliens. This is on your resume. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> And it's Sandy. Yeah. Hello. Oh no, I think I made a mistake. I thought it was Wendy who was dropped off by the aliens. 
I thought I said to her, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> No, it was Lori. Yeah. So, oh, John. Lucky enough to be raised here in the Northwest. Hey, I'm right here. Hello. All righty, John. Hello. <laughs> Lori. Uh, Lori. Um, I thought that was so cool yeah. about the alien comment because Raymond Hayden has that uh, grief the astronaut series. <laughs> So I loved it. I took it off, but I got the wrong person. Oh my goodness! Hello, Doc. Can you hear me? Yeah, Doc. Can you? Are you able to um, hear us now? Can we hear you? Can you hear me now? I yeah. can. I can. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. I lost Roger, but I can. I can hear you, but can you hear me? Yes, we can hear oh, you. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I'm talking on the phone and watching on the laptop. I don't know. He's he skipped out on us. <laughs> he's he's gonna go make sure he's not the daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh good lord. So if I'm understanding it correctly, you're forming a new band called the Atomic Blonde. There's going to be new music. Lori is going to be helping you write that music. Yes. Okay. And uh, and what else uh, do you have on your, uh, what, what kinds of, what genre are you thinking of doing this? Well, you mean platform or, or genre? It's going to be genre. probably rock. Okay. Rock with the blues and probably influence. Uh, Lori and I are both the heavily blues oriented. Uh huh. It's our background. Uh, but we love rock, you know. Uh, so I, I think she's she's got in store for me something really cool that I can't wait to, you know, get together with her. Uh, we have uh, several gigs coming up here. It's on our website. Uh, Still hear me? HD. There you are. Yes. Yeah, and uh, we have a uh, oh, yeah, I uh, the shout out to Jerry Miller, by so the way. Hi, Jerry. Love Jerry, uh, um, got to be his bass player for quite a while, and um, uh, he's one of the guys up here who in the northwest who helped me get my, my feet on the ground and become right. the shout bass player. Randy Hansen, too. I got to play with Randy. Ah! And I got to play with Seth Freeman that day, and uh, Jerry it was wow. So, Doc, I understand you're the technical specialist of this outfit, according to one of our listeners. Who, Doc? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Well, thanks for the compliment. <laughs> Are you there? All can right. you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So, yeah, I took care of the website and a few other little things. <laughs> okay. that It's always good to have that person, that technical person, because I don't know what, I don't think I've ever had a clean running gig. There's always some crazy thing going on. Oh, my God. <laughs> do you guys use a computer for your sound, or do you use the old-fashioned method with a board? Oh, yeah. I can't hear it. The old fashioned oh, yeah. method. We're, we don't have the uh, budget to go high tech yet. Yeah. You hear me? <laughs> well, uh, I've okay. looked at it and it's like, my gosh, who can figure that out? You'd have to be some kind of genius. <laughs> takes a lot of food stamps to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Green stamps. I do yeah, remember. Oh, oh my God. I remember green stamps. I used to help my mom. <laughs> yeah. Make books. Oh, my God. Those are cool days. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good old day. That's how I got my clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, it's been a real treat uh, talking to all of you today. And uh, do Thank look you, Joy. The, the people who are on, on the show right now, we're listening, and those who will tune in later, be sure to check her um, gigs that are coming up, which I have posted, and hopefully, Sandy, you post it too. Um, the gigs that you have lined up as all the way through November. 
Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to be listening to that. And also stay tuned for the new band called Atomic Blonde. And uh, Rod being in a way, I think that should be fun. I've never seen a drummer wear a blonde wig before. <laughs> so thank you all very much for coming on. I'm sorry, Doc, that you're having all those problems. <laughs> but I enjoyed your antics. I saw you sideways and upside down and inside out. <laughs> What's cool about having Doc in the band, he does a lot of music that we grew up with, you know, from the oh, yeah. 50s, 60s, 70s. 80. Yeah. And um, he, he, yeah. I, I really love bringing that music back. Yeah. Know? Yeah. It's, 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 I love, I love all the music that's coming out, but I, I'm really prone to the 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, and Doc brings that on. That's why I love, that's why I have Doc in the band. That's very cool. So with that, uh, okay. okay. Hopefully you guys will join us in the future at, when the new band comes out. We can hear what that's all about. Maybe. Yeah. Thank you, Joy. We loved having you. Hi, Lori. Take care. Bye, Doc. Bye, Bye guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Hi. Love you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Now, bye, Doc. Have a good day. And that's it for us. I'm going to be ending this broadcast today. I'm Joy Lajre. I host this program. And I do hope that you uh, do check out our, that site, Matured Musicians. We'd love if you join. The more people listening to our artists, um, the better it is for them. And they enjoy making the music, and we'd love to have you. So everybody take care. Have a good rest of your week. And we will be broadcasting, broadcasting again next Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.